break down the business model of a entrepreneur OnlyFans <laughs> content creator. So with uh, OnlyFans, you can have one or two pages. You have a free page or you have a subscription page or you have both. If you have a free page, everything you put on the wall, you can charge for. If you have a subscription page, you cannot have anything for sale on your page. They pay to get in. You can only sell through the DMs. That's how they're selling their videos through the DMs by hand. So it does go down in the DMs. For the most part. Okay. Okay. I could never sell my videos by hand in the DMs. I wake up to hundreds of messages like it's it's unreal. I could never do that on my own, so I do that through my free page. And what are the messages asking you or saying to you? Um, a lot of times, how, how's your fish doing? I mean, I have a couple, <laughs> I have Hey, a I just got to know about your fish. <laughs> not, I got to know. For real, how's your new car? <laughs> um, I have koi what? fish. I have, like, and I, I put them on my Insta, my socials, like, a, my community. Actually, a lot of it's just, like, did you guys have fun at the Bruins game? Like, why it's just, do they care? That's I. That's really what like, I want to know. And it's, by it's, the way, it's the pansocial phenomenon. Is I, it pansocial? What is pansocial? Pansocial is when you follow streamers or yeah. influencers, and and you know so much about them, mm-hmm. but they don't know you. Yeah. So you feel like they you, they feel like a friend to you because I don't think our brains could tell the difference, but they don't know you. Mm-hmm. So it creates this weird dynamic where you have thousands, millions of people that feel like they yeah. know you because you're in their living room, yeah. right? You're, yeah, you're, they're, they're watching your stream or on their phone, yeah, or, or on their phone. You, yeah. And so, but you don't, but but you don't know them. And so it's a it's 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 a real big phenomenon with Twitch streamers mm-hmm. and YouTubers, and yeah. it, and it, it it has some consequences to it. For I, sure. I love my community is amazing. I mean, I can literally go on there and ask like, Hey, I'm, you know, how do I put this bacteria in this pond to keep these? I mean, my, they help. Like I just, I have a great community. I have very rare. I think I've blocked five people my entire really? time. I mean, okay. I got amazing. a crazy question because it, maybe it goes to the connection, this pan social thing you're talking about. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but porn is free yeah. as you guys understand. So porn explain why someone would want to pay Twelve dollars a month or whatever. I don't know what the pricing are. Maybe you can elaborate on that. Versus, look, porn. You know, I'm in. I'm out. Uh, explain they're, that. They're not buying porn. I mean, they're consuming porn, but it's not about the porn. And I knew that when I signed up. Like, what you, is it about then? Um, it's about the connection. It's but you're married. By the way, I yeah. fully respect what you got going on, especially because you're the husband. But they know you're married. Sure. Are there some of them that are like, maybe she'll leave her husband for me? Or is it just like, I just think she's swell and I got to know about those koi fish. There's, uh, it's a connection. I think it's being able, you consume porn on, you know, Pornhub or another site. You don't ever get to talk to that girl. You don't get to mm. know. I think there's an element to, they feel like you're saying, like they you're know touchable. you. You're yes. touchable. You're almost touchable. They can say hi. They got can it. tell you nice video. They can, you know. Hey, just want to tell you, you and your husband... Great, le- great job last night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, my site does not just have adult yeah. content. I mean, I do post stories of really? my fish or my at the Bruins game, and I get just as many likes and interaction on those as I do my content. So I do feel like it's it's called only fans for a reason because I think mm. these people are truly fans of. Sometimes it's all in the name, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's called only fans. Like there, an athlete. go ahead, Rebecca. Could, I was gonna say, is there a safety component that you? Mm in here because just like he said this dynamic is they feel like they know you they they're in your living room they're in your bedroom right is there a safety component when you're going out and you you say where you are right you tell the audience where you are Mm -hmm. not always very good question have you run into in public one of your fans it happens very often but i can let people know i Nine times out of the ten, I have undercover security with me. They follow. They're not. You don't know they're with me, but they're watching. My husband. It's really they're there, so my husband can relax because really? he is always scanning. And what made you say, "All right, time for some security"? Something must have happened. Um, yeah, we've had a few scares. Um, we had a, a, a real, actual incident of someone threatening me and just. Uh, out of his mind and, and what have you and that was very scary but when we go to yeah. very large events um we we do have undercover security um we do have a massive security in our home i mean we have like mm-hmm. 50 cameras outside our house we have someone that monitors that so and i met your what's your husband's name again steven met the dude cool dude big dude i mean i'm messing with that guy <laughs> yeah he, he, he 
like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll mess with him. But he's like, yeah. So we do have. There is a massive security. Yeah, component. yeah I would. I would completely understand. Like, if you've got that is, many fans, is this when you go to the movies and go like have dinner? You have to have security with you. No, we don't have security at dinner. Um, like. I shouldn't tell everybody. Well, no, if you go to like a convention or something like that. Any event, if we're going to go out to a bar late at night okay. together and kind of just mm. have drinks and my husband needs to like let relax. Like I, it kind of yeah. sucks because we can't really have as much fun because yeah. he's always mm. on the lookout. So it's kind of more someone there so that like he can kind of relax a little bit and have fun with me. Is versus, that, I'm assuming that's expensive. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's not yeah. something, you know, but, but it's, Ruslan, it's worth it. You know, you're making that pay for bands. <laughs> yeah, so it's a necessary I, I, expense. I have a question before we go to yeah. this. So earlier you said, um, you know, tw- OnlyFans tw- is a 24 hour, seven days a week mm-hmm. type of thing. You're always locked in. And then you talked about in terms of being nursing and how that mm-hmm. was 18 hours yeah. a day. It, it sounds like. It sounds like you're a high performer mm-hmm. in whatever you do. Mm-hmm. I'm a, you said you're a veteran. Yeah. Thank you for serving our country. Thank you for my so you come from just a high level of output. So did 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 you how much more did you buy flexibility? Or did you buy back time? If it's still something that's all consuming, because as creators and entrepreneurs, yeah. we're always it's, yeah. here thinking yeah. about the next video, the mm-hmm. next stream. I'm thinking about, oh, can I put some of this on my channel? How can I chop? It? Right. I think we're always in that mode. So did you buy actual time or did you just buy more flexibility to your schedule? More flexibility right now. But I think it's a na- it's it's giving me the opportunity to power through for maybe the next three to five years and continue like then I don't need to ever work again. I mean, even right now, I mean, honestly, the amount of money is probably some people's retirement plans. You know, I definitely could stop working. But I think right now my mentality is hustle, hustle, hustle. Um, I say this, but I have been an overachiever for a long time, and that stems Mm -hmm. from my childhood, which is a lot of stuff that, you know, one day I will dive into in some form. But, um, yeah, I think right now it's just it's flexibility to be able to do that. But I'm trying to build something that will allow me to really have that time. And is it fair to say that you are an anomaly in this world based on the fact that, one, you're married, two, that you're a veteran with a crazy work ethic, Mm -hmm. and three, that you sound fairly financially literate and and probably semi-frugal, that that this is not the standard. This is Mm -hmm. is the exception to – and you're a marketer. So you understand the story that you're – with the nursing thing and COVID. Like You're you're telling a a, a very interesting story Mm -hmm. that I'm sure is Mm -hmm. helping drive people there. So is it fair to say like – this is the exception to the rule. This isn't the rule to yeah. how most people probably experience this. Yeah, I could honestly say it took me a long time to accept, but I, I've really never not succeeded in anything that I've done because I just pour into. Um, and so I don't think this is achievable for the average person. That's not saying there's not other girls that are successful at OnlyFans by any means. Um, but I think given from where I started, Ground Zero, as literally a hockey mom with no follower, I mean, it just... For me to turn this in less than a year and make myself into a multi it's impressive. And it, it took a lot for me to, like, own that. My husband has to say it all the time. Like, you have to look around. Like, look what the heck has happened over the mm. past year. And a lot of people think the press that I was interviewed on everywhere um, is what really turned me into this. I got the press because I had already did that. Because you were already booming. Yeah. And how did they know you were making this much money? Did you tell them that? So when the press, I'm talking the about. press, the original story that went out with the Daily Beast, um, I did an interview um, and I actually was just interviewing. He was like, you're a nurse and you're doing OnlyFans. Well, as I started to say, well, actually, I'm not nursing because I just got let go from my job because of X, Y, Z. And mm. that's where the story is mm. like, oh, my God, mm. like, this is the story. You, you literally were let go. And that's where things boomed up. But yes, in that interview, you know, he asked and I had to show, you know. That I was truly making that kind of money. At that point, I think I was making seventy five, eighty thousand dollars a month is what the original. And that's what you were making a year. <laughs> as a nurse. As yeah. a nurse. See, I, this Jesus. is my theory. Yeah. And, and you guys push back. This is my this is my theory. My theory is you would have figured out content regardless. Exactly. I think you would have figured out it, it would have came slower, but the numbers you're providing, they're they're big numbers. Mm-hmm. What do you mean figured out content? How to monetize She she would be a booming YouTuber yes. if she wanted oh, to yeah. be. Yeah. I, right. And so like it would have came slower because again, remove Time. lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, right? What's an easy commodity mm-hmm. to tie in? But me, me, Kevin's making three, four hundred grand a month on mm-hmm. YouTube. You know, he was doing this at like five hundred thousand subscribers. So I know creators that make that money on YouTube. And again, mm-hmm. exception to the rule. But when you have your skill set, your story, and the work ethic, I think you would have figured it out. It just would have came slower for you. Yeah. yeah, I was already doing side stuff. Like I was building. You're probably familiar with Poshmark. Yeah. I was buying and selling used goods and building this Poshmark. And within the first four months, I had already made like 40 grand. Like I was, I just, everything I do, if I pour in, I can just, 
I always succeed You're a at it. Yeah. I, Let's I, look I, at some of these numbers. By yeah, the way. I say that because I don't want yeah. if there's girls watching yeah. this to hear this story and be yeah. like, I'm gonna make yeah. 200k all <laughs> exactly. next month. Well, yeah. that's, yeah. let's get into these numbers. All right, so here's some OnlyFans stats. Okay, so here's some key statistics. More than 170 million people use OnlyFans. Okay, 500,000 new users join every day. Jesus. <laughs> There are more than 1.2 million content creators. We have one right here, one of the exceptional ones. It's possible to make more than $2 million a month from OnlyFans. That's the top, 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 top 0.1%. Uh, on average, uh, OnlyFans creators make around 100 grand a month. Say that again. The, only, the top creators. That's oh, the important. top creators. Okay. Got yeah. it. Mm-hmm. The average creator makes around 151 a month. Wah, wah, That's what wah, you want wah. the people to know. Yeah. The average <laughs> OnlyFans creator makes 151 a month, whereas the top makes almost 100 grand a month. Interesting. The average OnlyFans creator has 21 subscribers. Another weren't weren't. The average OnlyFans subscription is seven dollars twenty cents. OnlyFans has paid out more than two billion to creators. I want to find out who's going to be the first billionaire only fans content creator uh for some uh for some numbers so you understand growth only fans started in 2019 it's only three years old i gotta get an only fans account um 2019 had 7 million subscribers since then it's gone from 12 to 30 to 75 million in 2020 in 2021 it hit 120 million currently uh that was september so this is old this is september mm-hmm. of 2021 it's got probably over 250 million yeah. subscribers at this point, uh, is what I'm saying. Okay. Shopping current growth. Here, go down a little bit. Uh, the other way, sorry, Natalia. The other way. Back up. Boom. Nope. Nope. Back. All right. Keep going. The graph. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Right above the graph. Okay. The, the world pandemic. Okay. By extrapolating the current growth rate, Google search trends, and their own research, we approximate that currently mm-hmm. a half a new, new million is joined every day. All right. We got that. It's basically exploded. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see these numbers. How many creators are on OnlyFans? As of 2019, 100,000. By the beginning of 2021, we're talking 1.2 million. Now there's over, I assume, 2 million. How much do OnlyFans make? This is what we wanted to understand, Ruslan. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, what is the average OnlyFans income and earnings? The average creator will make 151 a month. Keep going. Most creators lose money. Mm-hmm. How do you lose money? I would imagine like purchasing equipment, things like, you know, outfits, outfits, etc. And you're not if you're not making enough to put back. I mean, mm. you go buy a three hundred dollar lingerie. Yeah, that you, goes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've all been the there. top OnlyFans creator is currently Belle Delphine, who charges thirty five dollars a month. What do you know about her? I've actually never heard of Belle Okay, Delphine, well, maybe you should subscribe. There's a lot of girls that will shock you. You don't, you've yeah. never heard of them, but they're killing How many it. subscribers does the average OnlyFans content creator have? The OnlyFans, the average has 21 subscribers. Got it. All right, keep scrolling down. All right, so the point is this. It's very hard to make money on OnlyFans. If you're the average content creator, you're making... 150 bucks a month. Yeah, there's no discovery feature. I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. You have to give it up for these girls that that do drive the traffic there because you can't promote it on your Instagram. You can't Mm -hmm. promote it anywhere, pretty much. And there's no discovery feature. So you're doing all your own marketing and driving your own traffic there, um, which obviously you hit roadblocks along every way because you're trying to drive someone to adult content. So it's... Um, it's a lot of work that goes behind it. And, and you're right. The average person doesn't have the time, especially if it's a side gig and mm-hmm. or the energy to be able to do okay. it. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.